Hey, what's going on, guys? A Toy Kind of Mood is back, episode 35. It's our best action figures of 2021 so far. So it's been six months, so we're going to go over everything in the first half of 2021. So a lot more stuff than we thought, but not as much as it should have been. But uh, of course, I'm joined by KJ, Kevin, Joy, and Joseph. What's up, man? What's up, man? It's always a pleasant time talking about toys for the toy kind of mood. So uh, let's go ahead and get into it, man. Yeah. Six months through, we survived. You survived Cobra Island. I survived 2021 so far. Like, that's how we, well, we all did. So good mm -hmm. job for doing that. Exactly. Uh, beautiful Bobby was supposed to host today and he's stuck in Austin. Not a bad place to be stuck in, but uh, he'll have to join us next week uh, for Marvel Legends. And uh, we'll talk some Marvel Legends, our top five Marvel Legends here. And also there was a plethora of PulseCon, Hasbro PulseCon news from several Hasbro brands. So we're going to go over that. So we're kind of going to go over our list in hand. These are in hand best ofs. Nothing we mm. have pre because pre-order. God, it would be That'd be a seven hour show, but yes. uh, if you want to see everything that I pre-ordered and it's most of what we've all pre-ordered, go to geekshavegame.com. There's an article right on the front page of all the pre-orders that might actually help you as a little calendar. But uh, in the meantime, we'll go over our top fives and then there'll be some news flashes in between. We got a lot to cover. So let's get rolling, KJ. Let's start off in a galaxy far, far away. Sorry, indeed, Ronnie, indeed. couldn't be here. Usually Star Wars, we got uh, old Ron's, old Bertles joining us for uh star wars but we got hit off with a lot of stuff today man you want to just mention some of the things we saw uh about the yeah movie? yeah so we got the uh cantina showdown scene between obi-wan um honda baba uh or uh walrus face and his buddy dr um I don't know, Atzavan. I'm probably saying that's probably like a yeah, whatever. drug or something. On, but it's 105 on. bones, man. So if you want that diorama set, you know, be willing to part with some cash. And then we got the homie Dave Filoni um, with his uh, turn in The Mandalorian as Trapper Wolf. Mm -hmm. So look out for that. And that's the perfect exclusive. Diehards, if they want to get that figure, if they want to get the creators, I got the Stan Lee Marvel Legends. People love showing um, props to those guys. So that's out there for them too. Well, it's a near perfect exclusive because it doesn't have the trusty old cowboy hat. So mm -hmm. uh, missing that one. But I'm sure, KJ, you being a customizer, you'll find uh, plenty. Yeah, of I got that Overwatch Ultimates uh, cowboy. So I'll just give that to Dave Filoni. Yeah, and that's, how we'll, that's how we'll do that. And so, yeah, the Cantina Showdown, of course, is a, a reimagining of the retro line from Power of the Force. So that goes along with some of the other, you know, we had uh, Grado and uh you know uh, luke and han as part of the force figures are up on hasbro pulse right now there was also for the vintage collection fans tvc there was the emperor's throne room they're finally getting that going on so uh that goes for 32 bucks i have a slightly modified version of palpatine's <laughs> throne so it's Very for uh it's for cobra neat neat and then uh trapper wolf would be 30 so pretty hilarious to pay 30 bucks for a dave filoni figure but you know it is what it is and of course, we mentioned the uh, Cantina Showdown will be 105 bones. So good luck next week. If you have a premium account, you may have a chance to grab some of these PulseCon exclusives. Uh, actually, probably not next week. Uh, Comic-Con is going to be in a couple weeks, but we don't know if PulseCon will be close. It seems they may, it may seem like we're going to get some of the stuff in a few months. It kind of Maybe. I mean, last year yeah. it was around September. So September, we'll yeah. See, we'll see so, what happens. So it'll probably be a little bit after uh, Comic-Con, a few months after, actually. Um, let's talk Star Wars as far as what our favorite figures of uh, 2021 in hand. Uh, you got what? Well, let's go down the list. Do you have three or five as a top for Star Wars? I have three. I have three. Right, and well, then I also let have. Me go with, let me go with five and four, and then we'll cut to your three. We'll go back and forth. How about that? Okay, cool. Look at that. All right. So, you know what? At the beginning, I didn't do it. And then I said, I got to give the Bad Batch less, some love because this is. This is the show that we're all watching right now on Disney Plus. I haven't actually watched today's episode, but uh, Hunter. So I got uh, I, I think he's a little better than Crosshair just because he's got that cool, you know, Rambo look there. So I'm digging it. And uh, I don't know. Do you have any of the Bad Batch figures? No, because that would just be another hundred dollars and then another five hundred dollars out of my pockets. I would be getting the elite squad troopers. I would be getting the shock troopers. I'd be getting Rampart, uh, Omega, who I uh, adore. She's adorable in that show. But 
I'm not getting any Bad Batch. I'm, I stopped at the last three episodes of Clone Wars. Oh, okay. All right. And uh, all right, let's go with Phantom Menace. Of course, he comes in that cl classic packaging. But since mm -hmm. the first Qui-Gon was so bad, I had to go with, you know, look at that face sculpt. Yeah. I had to go with, uh, I had to open this one up and throw him against my Darth Maul, as you can see probably behind me. He's fighting Jar Jar right now, but it, it's <laughs> usually the showdown. But yeah, props to, because uh, at first when they did the archive vote, remember the archive fan vote? Mm -hmm. uh, Hasbro kind of just skipped over everything. Of course, they skipped over Slave Leia for obvious reasons. But um, some of the other ones, we were just like, hey, we're all voting for these things. And now there's, we're slowly seeing all these in just different packaging, be it archive down the line or, you know, army builders, army troopers, of course. And then also we're starting to see them in the retro packaging as well. So we're starting to get almost everyone from that fan vote. Of course, we got Cody. So there's a bunch of like repacks and stuff like that. Uh, mm -hmm. Three, KJ, hit us off with your number three. Uh, I got the uh, Darth Maul um, from the um, the uh, comics and expanded universe collection. Um, I'm a big fan of that trade paperback when it came out. It was awesome. So to sort of get that, what I call a stripper mall, you know, I'm too sexy for my shirt mall. Uh, and then I also like get the uh, hood head with, from the archive Darth Maul. So I have like wrestler mall. So that's like one of my favorite things. Although there's no neck peg, you sort of had to be a little creative. Mm -hmm. um, and then there's also Asajj Ventress. So like, I would love nothing more than to get those two facing off in a, in a diorama one of these days to have Asajj versus Maul. So Asajj is your number three as well? Uh, Asajj is my number two. I have my top three. Oh, you jumped the gun, man. We're going hey. back and forth. <laughs> it's all good. I might as well jump the gun as well, too, because I got, uh, you mentioned Asajj, Asajj right yeah. now. But oh, yeah. There she is. Yeah, yeah, easily. An easy number two for me. Uh, but I want to mention, you mentioned the, that comic series, uh, Connor Jacks, that whole mm. name issue when they made the mistake, it's really Kier Kanos. There was design mm. issues with some of these figures as well. So that we're going to also talk worst figures of the year. And to me that Connor Jacks, Kier Kanos debacle, that that was a mess, but you got any worsts? Uh, I do. I was going to save mine for the end, but we can go ahead and get into it right now. Uh, yeah, my worst just, it's kind of just throwing everything out there. And see yeah, uh, Jackson, uh, the green rabbit, sort of like the Bucky O'Hare before Bucky O'Hare is a little is a little too realistic for me. Like, it's kind of <laughs> creepy. The more I look at it, it's like, I don't want to look at this. And then we have Grief Karga, who does not look like Carl Weathers, but looks more like stunt double. Um, oh it's like the guy that you get from central casting when Carl Weathers isn't available. <laughs> To be Grief Karga, you know, he was in that Netflix yeah. show that you didn't watch. Um, so I'm not a fan of the fan sculpt. It doesn't matter about the character. For me, it doesn't matter. Like, you can load it with accessories. If that fan sculpt is off, if that face sculpt is off, excuse me, um, then that's it for me. So a lot of my worst come exactly from there. KJ, I do want to give Grief Karga an award today, though, for um, Peg Warmer of the Year. Mm every single target and, and you know what i actually to me i don't think it's a bad figure i mean most people aren't into the face sculpt i actually like it i don't know i'm just maybe i don't know i i don't mind it i think it's actually a really good figure and khalil i think those are good i think those are good figures they're not to me but every single target i go to those two are there well i mean they kind of missed their moment you know like season one of mandalorian was really big um it was like around 2019 before all this nightmare started and so then when Malorian, uh, mandalorian came roaring back you know it's a new day new figures and it's like there's not a lot of people really holding it down for you know Kuil, um from you know two years ago at this point so gotcha all right we're gonna we're sticking with worst here uh this is one of the worst figures of the year to me uh mm. because this uh, Anakin Skywalker, sorry about the reflections here. He's neither animated or Hayden Christensen. It's what is this guy? Like, I don't even know. It, they're trying to do something different with him and it's it's not working for me. But I, I got mean, it, it looks like, yeah, like, it looks like likeness, likeness rights, Skywalker. <laughs> but looks I got like it because uh i mean my number i jumped to number three but tie all tied for i jumped to number two but all tied for 
Number three for me are these. I mean, I do love the packaging. That's why they're still in there. Um, and they're going to be tacked on the wall. So Hawk, it sucks because we don't have a Hawk yet. Maybe I, I would have bought two if these weren't freaking 25 bucks each or whatever yeah. they were. Um, maybe someday I'll, I'll get my hands on another one because uh, these are really cool. I'd love to ha actually display them on the shelves, but this packaging is so, I just love it. I never mm -hmm. had these before, you know, the, the, the older editions. And so, yeah. and I think the best of all of them is this, very accurate looking obi-wan from the cartoon but still looks like doesn't look like a you know it's kind of like the um ahsoka that we got from walmart um mm -hmm. but it's kind of a perfect blend of black series and the cartoon which is what they missed the ball on with the anakin in my opinion so uh do you have any more before your number one or if not hit, hit us with your number one star wars number figure. one let's go ahead um i am a big fan of uh, battlestar galactica so when katie Sackoff showed up in mandalorian i was all about that so this is my pick for number one bo katan bringing the heat i even had to pick up some extra mandalorian loyalists for that yeah there we go i'm way off here yeah so um, love the sculpt. This is like a perfect sculpt here. And um, just uh, the way the overall figure turned out. Once again, I can't wait to put this bad girl in some dioramas. It's going to be awesome. Yeah, here's a better look and helmet. Here we go. Very nice. Nice clear shot. And yeah, this is, I mean, it's a clear cut. Uh, Bo-Katan was our, is our, our, is a toy kind of moods number one black Dang. series star wars figure uh for the first half of 2021 congratulations uh bogotan so or hasbro rather they did a great job <laughs> it's a flawless figure we'll see how it hell holds up in the next six months there's a lot of stuff coming our way oh, yeah. um 